All right, so Barrow has come back to us a day after they released the new Goss patch, so we're just going to get right into it. Uh, ooh. Hey, haven't seen that in a while. All right, so slash mods, yeah, don't buy these. These aren't very good. Um, they So the thing about these, though, these slash mods is that they drop from the Hydralist. Not everyone has access to the Hydralist because not everyone has invested into their operators. However, these mods aren't all that great. Um, Buzzkill, at, Buzzkill you can kind of get from killing random corpus mobs. I don't remember which ones, but these aren't exactly rare. Uh, Maim, you can also get... Oh, I don't remember where these drop from, but they're not good. Sweeping serration, yeah, that's this is this is not good either. I think the only purpo the only use for this one is actually on Tigger's Prime, and that's like before you get a ribbon or whatever. Um, not worth getting. It's, there's there's better mods for the Tigger's Prime in any way. The only thing that this is really useful for is waiting toward slash on slash base shotguns. Same idea for. Slash base pistol. Wait, there's no slash pistol mod? Huh? Or there's no slash rifle? Oh. Huh. Interesting. Whatever. Um. Don't bother with these. Uh, prime point blank. This is a. You. You want this? I'd argue. I'd, I'd say you want this mod. It's a good mod. It'll go on every shotgun build. There's no shotgun that won't use this. Um. Shotguns definitely love their love their base damage mods. It's worth this is worth getting. Um, Prime fast hands. This is this mod is a meme, but I guess if you want it, you go ahead and get it. It's just that it's not really used on any weapons at all. Uh, ten out of ten meme factor. Prime morphic transformer. This will be an investment for the future, because for some for some reason this mod is easier to get than the real Morphic Transformer, because nobody farms Archwing, but people will farm regular content, so this is this is easier to get. Uh, with the way that the game is played right now, the only thing that you really use Archwing for is to level up Itzel and spam Blink. You don't really use Archwing for anything else, unfortunately. This will, this may become more useful once we get Railjack, and then there's actually an incentive to use some of the other Archwings. But right now, the only one we care about is Itzel. Uh, if you're gonna level up, um, if you're gonna level up the other three, they may use this mod. But the thing is, is that if you're leveling them up. You're not gonna put a cat. You're not gonna put a reactor on them, so you have no space for this mod in the first place. You probably don't even have Archwing mods unless you buy them. So yeah, sure, Prime Morphic Transformer might be easier to get than the real Morphic Transformer, which is still cheaper, but they're both equally useless as of right now. Um, if you have spare Ducats and you have an interest in leveling up Archwing and being prepared for Railjack then sure get this if not don't even bother super vandal um for the weapons super vandal is legitimately one of the best weapons in the game get this there's there's no question about it you get this the only problem with it is that it's mr14 so you can't even buy it unless you're already mr14 so that is what it is I'm not sure what else to say about it. It's one of the best weapons in the game. It has a mana proc, uh, high crit. Eh, the mana proc mod is also gives you status, so it winds up being a crit hybrid status monster. Like you can't, I can't even fit all the mods that I want onto this gun. Prisma dual cleavers. Um, is it melee 3.0 yet? No. Okay. In the grand scheme of things, is not particularly good. 
But if you compare it against other dual sword category weapons, and for whatever reason this is considered dual sword even though it's two butcher knives, um, these are actually one of the high. These are actually the highest DPS combo if you stand stance properly with them. The problem is that there's no point in stand stancing with with these weapons because why not just use us all? I mean that's just that's just currently how the game works. But if it weren't, if melee 3.0 were out, these would be top tier weapons. And like I and like I said. If you stand stance properly, they actually do have one of the highest one of the highest DPS outputs. It's just that there's no incentive to do that with the state of the game right now. Zylock. So this is so this was an exclusive weapon that was given out during the Strata rebuild event. It's um it, it makes sense that the the next time that Barrow came back to the Earth Relay, it would be offered again. Um, uh, what to say about this? It's like a really bad Tigris. It's the pistol version of a Tigris. So it has the same firing mechanism where it fires bullets when you hold down the click and then again when you release. Uh, shout out to Pankoic, uh with a, with a half A-press. Um, so each so each half press for your for your mouse click releases bullets, which makes it really good at one shotting. Which is supposed to make it really good at one shotting mobs. The problem is that the Zylock just doesn't do enough damage to actually one shot mobs. It's not like the Tigris. It's supposed to be like the Tigris Prime, but it's not. Um, which makes it really bad at the only thing it's supposed to do. Um, it's worth getting for the MR. But other than that, it's not actually worth getting to use. You could just use the real Tigris and it would probably perform better. Uh, cosmetics? Yeah, oh. That's hilarious. Tear fireworks? Well, that's nice. That headset will mask. So, um... Oh, shit. Holy shit. Oh, holy shit. Prisma Shade is definitely worth getting. It is worth getting. Not just because it's MR, but because, like, actually one of the more useful Sentinels. Um, it makes you go invisible. And it's worth 9,000 MR, simply because it also has a weapon with it. So you need something for if you need something for the value. I'll tell you what, this thing right here, this is value. Stalker beacon, um, not that great. Uh, I I wouldn't advise. I would actually advise against these. It's probably better. Like people are always going to be attacked by the stalker. He's so easy to kill. Uh, if you wanted to buy beacons, I guess you could buy wolf beacons from with uh, Nightwave credit, but I don't think that's worth it either. Um, oh my God. <sighs> Since Prisma Shade is coming out, might be a good time to get the Sentinel Cosmetics to go with Prisma Shade. These probably look really good together. Who knows? Uh, Sans of Anaros? Eh. There's other things that are worth buying this week, but if you don't have Anaros, Go ahead and get it. Like, Naros is a good frame. Very tanky. Uh, not much else to say. So I guess. All right. To review, don't get the slash mods. Don't bother with prime hands. Uh, prime fast hands unless you're a memer. Prime morphic transformer. Also, same idea. If you're a memer, go ahead and get it. Prime point blank. You should buy this. Super Vandal. Absolutely buy this. Prisma Dual Cleavers and Zylock are good for MR. Prisma Shade. It's even better for MR than the other than the other items. Alright. But uh Enjoy Goss guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.